Hello, I'm Atuba George and I welcome you to the month of April. Praise God. What an amazing time we have in the month of March. And God said to us, I'm sending the rain. And, and we received testimonies from many of you concerning the things that God began to do in the month of May. Praise God. Now, we appreciate all those testimonies as you send them in. Now, we've entered a new month and the Lord is saying to us this month, be fruitful. Praise God. Be fruitful. And the amazing thing about this word is it's a command. God is not saying, I will make you fruitful. He's saying, go and be fruitful. He's sending you on an errand. Praise God. So what do you do? Yes, sir. And then you align your mind with what God has said. Let me show you something from the book of Genesis. Genesis. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Chapter 1. Genesis chapter 1. Now it says, so God, verse 27, it says, so God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he him, male and female created he them. And look at verse 28, it says, and God blessed them. And God said unto them, what did God say? Be fruitful. The first instruction God ever gave to man, the first thing man heard was be fruitful. In other words, bear fruit. We're going to talk about that. But I want you to see something. It says be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth and subdue it and have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air and over every living thing that moveth upon the earth so god says first be fruitful it's a command but before god said that the bible said god blessed them see now how did he bless them he empowered them and then having empowered them that he gave direction for that empowerment. He says, be fruitful. So what does it mean to be fruitful? You know, First John, in, in First John, John told us something. He says, beloved, I wish above, no, third John, sorry. He says, beloved, I wish above all things that you prosper and be in health even as your soul prospers. Now see it. He says, I wish above all things. Let me, let's look at that scripture in 3rd John. 3rd John. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Third John. Verse 2. I thought John just have one chapter, verse 2. It says, Beloved, I wish, this is my desire, above every other desire that I have. This is my desire. What is the desire? That you may prosper. I, I wish you will prosper. I desire you will prosper and be in health. Then he says, even as your soul prospers. So he, he, didn't, he didn't discard the fact that your soul is prospering. So, but then he says, I wish you would prosper in the same measure that your soul is prospering. Now what's he saying? You see, they were already bearing fruit in their soul. You understand what I'm saying now? Bearing fruit is not, it's not a physical outward thing you bring forth. No, that's not fruit. That's not the fruit he's talking about. Fruit talks about quality. There's a difference between being fruitful and multiplying. See, there's a difference. It's not the same thing. To multiply is talking about numbers. To be fruitful is talking about quality. 
the quality of your personality. So when God says be fruitful, he says bear fruit. Bear fruit. So when a tree bears fruit, it's bearing fruit after its kind. You understand what I'm talking about? So you see a mango tree, there is an expectation of what the fruit of mango is supposed to be like. Now, if you suddenly begin to see something very round on a mango tree as fruit, you begin to look at that mango tree and definitely say something is wrong. Praise <laughs> God. Why? Because, you know, you don't say, ah, fruit is fruit. No, fruit is not fruit. You bear fruit after your kind. So, when God says, be fruitful, He is saying, become after your kind. Display the quality of your kind. Now, no matter how a tree looks, it is by the fruits it begins to bear that you tell how healthy that tree is. A good tree will bring good fruits. A bad tree, will see, you will see it in the fruits. So the fruit, the tree may look wonderful, but by the time the fruit starts coming out and they are looking um, scanty, they are looking, uh, something is just wrong. You know that it's not the fruit that have the problem. The problem is from the tree. Now you get what I'm saying? So now that's why the first thing God did was to bless them, was to empower them. Having empowered them, now he says, be fruitful, bring forth fruit. So what kind of fruit do we bring forth? We bring forth fruit after our kind. And who are, who, what, when he says after our kind, what kind are we? Brothers and sisters, we are the God kind. We are the God kind. Now, I want you to say that with me with boldness. Say, I am the God kind. Just say it again. I am the God kind. Now, do you know what that means? Now, we hail from God. You understand? We, we are the product of God. We are the product of the word of God. Yes, we are. We are. Because you see, God says, let us make man in our image and after our likeness. That's when he spoke. So the, 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 the coming of man came from the word of God. And as though that was not even enough. You know the story, man went wrong. And then God came again in Jesus. And God was born the second time. That's what it means to be born again, to be born again you were born before now you need to be born again now being born again peter said not of corruptible seed but of the incorruptible by the word of god that lives and abides forever so we are even when we got born again we became again the product of god's word this time so real john tells us in john chapter 1 and verse 12 for as many as received him to them he gave the power to become the sons of god even to them that believe on his name verse 13 which were born not of blood nor of the will of the flesh nor of the will of man but of god see but of god and verse 14 tells us and the word was made flesh and dwelt among us now he goes on to tell us that look we are the product of that word of god made flesh jesus talking to nicodemus said, except a man be born of the water and of the spirit because that which is born of the flesh is flesh and that which is born of the spirit is spirit how are you born of the spirit the spirit brings forth the word so we are a product or we are the product of the mind of God. I remember last month, I was sharing the last week of last month, we were just talking about the wisdom of the word of God. We're still on that series, even this month, because there are a lot I have to share with you. But today is the first of the month, so I bring you good news from the Lord that He is commanding you to bear fruit fruit of his kind. Now, let me break that down. There are testimonies that you should begin to have 
this month and these are testimonies not general testimonies that you are used to not not oh praise god i got a job oh ah, oh, how did you get a job Eh, leave that matter but at least god just did it somehow no that's not what we're talking about we're talking about testimonies that you can show and everyone sees that this is the kind of things that god does I'm not talking about testimony that is shrouded in secrecy. I'm talking about testimonies that you're not even the one that would say it. It is people who experienced what happened with you that are going to be sharing those testimonies. And guess what they are going to be saying? God is real in your life. Are you hearing what I'm saying? So when God says, be fruitful, that's what he's talking about. Bear fruit that represents God. Be a fruit that shows God is in your life. It's a command. Why is he giving you that command? Because he has blessed you. That's why he sent the rain. He has blessed you. He has empowered you. So now go show that you belong to God and everyone around you will see that truly God is loves you hallelujah you know the fruit you, you stretch it out you know paul spoke about the fruit of the spirit and he said the fruit of the spirit is love so the fruit you're bearing is is to show that you are loved remember jesus said in john chapter 15 he says i am the vine and ye are the branches and then he says any branch in me that does not bear fruit the vine dresser cuts it off. But any fruit, any branch that bears fruit, he prunes so that it will bear more, more fruit. Okay? Now, the father is watching. And it's not just that, oh, I bear a fruit. No, the quality of the fruit you bear must represent him. And that fruit is love. So the quality of fruit you bear, the quality of your testimony must represent the love of God. It must showcase the love of God in your life. Struggling to do something and coming back, ah, ah, I did it. I did it. Yeah, it was a fight. Oh, I did it. At least, finally, I did it. Now, that looks like, wow, you've done it eventually. But then, you want to look at that closely and say, where's the love of God in this? Yeah, that's what we're talking about. Where's the love of God? Not testimonies that will carry lots of questions. And you know how some people just go, well, let's just give God thanks. But there are still many questions in their hearts. That's not what we're talking about. We are talking about the kind of fruit, the kind of testimony that clearly exhibits the love of God in your life. Have you been owed something for so long? Listen, this month, you will not struggle for it. You are not going to be the one to go asking, hey, I, I deserve this. No, this month, someone is going to sit on your matter until it is resolved and you without your knowledge. And when it's delivered to you, like, okay, how did this happen? Yeah. You mean you didn't know? Oh, no. You mean you didn't influence it? No, oh, no. I didn't even know such was going on. Ha. Ah. God really loves you. Yes, that's what we want to hear. Praise God. That's what God is commanding us to do. So what's your response? Say, yes, sir, I will bear fruit. And all you need to do is align your mind with the word of God. Align your mind with the will of God. Get your mind in to what God have said he will do. Believe in your heart that God have blessed you, that God have empowered you. Based on that empowerment, you are stepping into this month and you are bringing him fruit. Praise God. You are showing him, Lord, this, this is the product of your love in my life. This is the pro Now he wants to see the product. That's why he's commanding you, go and bear fruit. It's like you've, you've commissioned your factory. Praise God. You put all the equipment that is needed in that factory. And now you commission the factory. What are you expecting? Production. Praise God. Bear fruit. I want to see because you have this concept in your mind that this is the product that you want to have. Now you've set up the factory, done everything that needs to be done. And you, you commission it and say, we start production today. You want to wait at the end 
and receive that product exactly the way you intended it in your heart. Now that's what God is saying to us. He's done his part by blessing you. He's done his part by empowering you. Now he's standing at the end. He's giving the command, which is the commissioning. God have commissioned you from this month to bear fruit. And that fruit will be surrounded, will showcase is love in your life. So everything that have been difficult in your life, hear me, hear me, beginning from today, begin to experience the goodness of God concerning that thing. Everything you've ever struggled with, beginning from today, receive the goodness of God where that thing is concerned in the name of the lord jesus christ if you've been battling with sickness in your body i declare in the name of jesus you are bearing the fruit of healing you're bearing the fruit of healing there is no sick fruit because the tree is not sick the the, the vine is not sick if the vine is not sick where did you get your sickness from it must have been from an external source. So I declare in the name of the Lord Jesus, even as you receive life from the vine, the vine brings forth righteous and holy life. The vine brings forth clean life. I declare in the name of the Lord Jesus, every external thing that have been injected into you, every external thing that you have received, I command it to begin to die and pass out of your life right now, where your health is concerned, in the name of the Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Let the life that is in you begin to flow out and manifest as fruit. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I declare this over your life. I declare this month. You will see how things will be so easy and flourishing for you. As long as you are involved, as long as you your life is concerned, there is, there is an anointing and there is a grace that has been released upon you. Don't, don't think like a normal person. Don't think like every other person. Don't join the crowd. Don't say, oh, the economic situation is so bad. You have been exempted, praise God. Yes, you have been exempted. And God is saying, bear fruits bear fruit with full authority and assurance he is saying to us go bear fruit be fruitful praise god thank you holy spirit i just love this don't you love it hey submitting yourself to the lord and say lord i submit completely to you use my life lord to manifest your love use my life lord to manifest your glory i give you my heart I give you my life. I give you my body. Manifest yourself through me, Lord. Yes, manifest yourself through me. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Whatever sickness that have been in your body, I command you to leave right now. Right now. Be healed. From the crown of your head to the sole of your feet, be healed in the name of the Lord Jesus. This is not a season to be sick at all. I declare whatever has been held back from you, it is coming to you easily. From this day, you're getting the news that that thing has been given to you. Receive it right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Your testimony this month will reflect the love of God. Praise God. God bless you. Now, we have our prayer meeting going on today. So, wherever you are listening to me right now, join the next prayer meeting. It's just at the next watch. We are using West African time. So, just the next watch, whether it's 9 a.m. or it's, it's 12 noon or it's 3 p.m., just, just join the next watch. Praise God. And, and the Zoom link is on your screen. The Zoom ID and passcode is on your screen. Use it join the next meeting god bless you have a fruitful month of april bye